He says, now page 3, he وسلم, also used to say, what is between the east and the west is Qibla. You don't have to be precise. You know, some brothers come and say, oh, you guys, you are one degree off the Qibla. Yeah, one degree, so, you know, as long as we are not like, this is the Qibla and we are facing this side, then there's a problem. But if we're facing this side and this is the Qibla, and you say, oh, you guys are facing this way, it's okay. It's just a small difference, you know. Jabir radha anhu said, and what is the Qibla for us? Who knows? Who wants to win a book? What is the Qibla for us? Don't tell me here. I know. I I'm your Imam. I pray this side. Ah, Abdullah. You don't want to win a book? Muhammad, you don't have a book? Okay, answer. Well, if you know the degrees, mashallah. 54 degrees northeast, I have to give you a book. MashaAllah. It's true. 54 degrees northeast. Oh, you have it on your iPhone? No, no, no. He goes, Wallahi, Wallahi, two times. <laughs> okay. So, the next hadith he says, Jabir Radu'an Hussein. Once we were with the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on an expedition, the sky was cloudy. Now remember and imagine during the Prophet Sallallahu there's no compasses. You cannot find, if you're in a desert, imagine, how would you find the Qibla? When every direction looks same. Every direction is just sand. The only way you would find out if the sun, you could see the sun. But what if it's cloudy now? Okay, so it's cloudy. He says, so we tried to find the Qibla, but we differed. Some of us say this way, some of us say that way. So each one, of, each one of us prayed in a different direction. And each of us drew marks in front of him in order to mark our positions. And we say, we prayed here, we faced this side and we marked. Those guys, they said, no, we're praying that side, they marked their side. In the morning, we looked at it and found that we had not prayed towards the Qibla. We had not prayed towards the Qibla. So we mentioned this to the Prophet wasallam, But he did not order us to repeat the prayer and he said, your prayer is sufficient. You know why? Because in Islam we have a great principle which says لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها Allah says فاتقوا الله ما استطعتم Fear Allah as much as you can. What you can't do, what is out of your, your reach. What are you supposed to do? I can't do more than this. I tried, maybe it's this way. I think it's this way. There's no way for you to know. Didn't just pray that way. You tried, you know. 